Thank you. Okay, let me start uh, with the formal lecture for the next uh, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. It's a like my session. I will uh, go like full for, for the slides. Okay, uh, sorry about that thing. Um, we will going to study about the, the members of the immune system, uh, particularly the innate immune system and, and the components and the cells which are involved in the innate immune system. We will study them, their structures, their components in detail. First, we have studied already, you can go and find that lecture on the YouTube, that uh, uh, what is hematopoiesis and what is, uh, the, the, what is meant by the stemness and how they are differentiated, they, they, they differentiate to produce all those different types of cells. We have spent a lot of time on that slide just to clarify a lot of concepts behind the, the hematopoietic stem cells and behind the concept of hematopoiesis and how they're able to produce all uh, different sorts of cells. And also you have already studied about the lymphatic system. Let's go. Because these cells, the members of the innate immune system, they are present in the blood circulatory system as well as in the lymphatic system. The first member, let, let me introduce, let me start the introduction from, not the introduction actually, so we will study uh, most of the things related to the phagocytes. Phagocytes are the cells which have the potential to eat other cells. They can eat the other cells. The first member I, I am sharing with you is the neutrophils. Neutrophils are, are, are the earlier responder, you can say. Uh, they actually appear uh, in the, during the earlier phase of inflammatory responses. Remember, inflammatory responses are like this. Uh, when, there, when there is an infection at one part of the body because of the invasion of the aliens, a lot of cellular activities uh, was executed at that place that requires the influx of immune cells to, at that place that required the inflow of a lot of lymph to that place that required more cells to to came to that place to fight against the disease that really that results in the concept that results in what we call as inflammation uh, and that is an indication that an immune action is going on at that place so at that time, to support the, the, the phagocytosis, these cells uh, 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 try to contribute and, and try to involve in the uh, process of phagocytosis. They are the cells which can eat the bad things. They are the cells which can eat the bacteria uh, and the other pathogens at that place. If they are designed to eat the bad things, you can guess they should have like uh, enzymes like lysozymes, collagenases, elastases, Lactoferrin and hydrolysis. These are the enzymes. Aap in sari enzymes ko hai, padha hai aapne. They are the enzymes which are capable of breaking down the molecules. Ye self structures ko tod sakte hai, ye proteins ko break kar sakte hai. They can break down proteins and fats and things present in the in the pathogen. So they are like killer killer molecules, killer enzymes which they are carrying. So they should have all these things. They should have enzyme which are stimulate, uh, and then they can not only kill the bad thing but can also promote inflammation as well uh, usually we produce like 1 into 10 to 11 and neutrophils per day they in ki life both dambi nahi hoti they are produced and at the site of infection they accumulate at the site of infection and try to kill the bad things after one to two or three days they are just gone after that after doing their job so they're not supposed to be like ever living things ever living cells in our system they are produced they're dead they're produced they're dead the other famous one, the macrophages, they are quite famous. I think one of the most famous member of the immune system, of the innate immune system is uh, the macrophages. And it's also part of the cell mediated immunity, or I must say adoptive immune system as well. But since uh, if you remember the discussion earlier and the questions of our students, that they are the ones who can eat the things, they are the ones who can eat the bad things. So that means they are doing the things like innate immune system. So if there is a bacteria present in the skin, the macrophages will go and then start eating the bad thing. So this is what we call as innate immune system. But we also know that they are not only eating the bad thing, but they are also capable of sharing that information with the other members of the immune system, which we call as adoptive immune system. But this is not the topic of that uh, slide at this time. They are, they are known as uh, because of the production of cytokines, they can produce cytokines. And here you can see, the name of the cytokine first first time IL-1, this is interleukin-1 and TNF-alpha, this is tumor necrosis factor, it's the name of the, uh, the cytokine, name of a protein. So these are the name of the proteins which are characteristics of 
मैक्रोफेजिस मैक्रोफेजिस की खास बात कि वो ये वाले साइटोकिन्स दे दे जनरेट रिलीज सच साइटोकिन्स ये प्रो इन्फ्लोमेटरी साइटोकिन्स है मींस दे कैन स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग द एनवायरनमेंट फॉर द फॉर द इम्यून एक्शन उस जगह के ऊपर दे स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग इन एनवायरनमेंट रिमेंबर आई टोल्ड यू हाउ द अदर मेंबर्स ऑफ द इम्यून सिस्टम केम टू नो अबाउट द ट्रबल व्हेन अ मैक्रोफेज फाइंड्स अ बैड थिंग इट्स नॉट ओनली ईटिंग द बैड थिंग इट आल्सो रिलीजेस द साइटोकिन्स कौन से वाले साइटोकिन्स नाउ यू नो दे आर इंटरल्यूकिन 1 एंड टीएनएफ अल्फा those cytokines when diffused to the other parts of the body they help other cells to sense something is going on at that place something is going on at that place so they rush towards that site and that can result in the inflammation and other things okay and uh, they are, are are able to 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 deal with the tumor cells as well they can also secrete the chemicals which can kill the other cells but their primary job is to eat the things their primary pehchan their primary uh, identification is the one that they can capture they can endo they can go for endocytosis okay uh, there are several uh, uh, macrophages present in our body uh, some of the uh, some of them are like um, examples of issue macrophages there you can see different type of macrophages present in different parts of our body it's important thing to understand it's important concept i need your attention it will be more than normal for this thing for example the copper cells they are present in the liver the copper cells are the macrophages present in the liver so liver mein jo macrophages hote hain they are called as the copper cells sir ji ji sir could you repeat what you said after i need your attention okay i need your attention to understand that the the present the different type of macrophages present in different parts of our body for example if you can see my mouse uh, uh, hovering at that place so we have copper cells which are present in the liver so the copper cells are the macrophages present in the liver similarly microglial cells they are also the macrophages but those are the macrophages present in the brain similarly mesangial phagocytes they are present in the kidney they are also macrophages alveolar macrophages sir, uh, are the macrophages present in the lungs g g sir do they differ genetically or do are shabash, they structurally is, uh, different yeah isiliye mujhe aapki attention chahiye shabash it's good that you are actually thinking on the same front that's that's exactly i want to explain shabash so alveolar macrophages they are the they are the macrophages doing the same things macrophages kya karte hain maine pehle bataya they are doing the same things but they are present where in the lungs and similarly osteoclasts in another macrophage they are present in the bone so different parts of our body contains different types of macrophages but executing the same thing so if a bad thing or a bacteria is present in the kidney it will be dealt with the, with the help of mesangial phagocytes if a kidney if a bad thing or an infection or a bacteria or a pathogen is present uh, in the brain so it will be uh, dealt with the macrophage called as microglia cells वो मैक्रोफेजेस होते हैं अब इसकी वजह ये होती है यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट थिंग क्लियरली दैट व्हेन मैक्रोफेजेस आर क्रिएटेड मैं अभी साइड पे डिटेल से बताता हूं व्हेन मैक्रोफेजेस आर क्रिएटेड एंड एट द सेम टाइम ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट आवर बॉडी एंड द सेल्स प्रेजेंट इन द फीटस दे आल्सो गेट डिफरेंशिएटेड यू नो सर्टेन सेल्स बिकम किडनी सर्टेन सेल्स बिकम हार्ट सर्टेन सेल्स बिकम ब्रेन सर्टेन सेल्स बिकम स्किन सो वी वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स the concept of differentiation seems to sochne mein samajhne mein bada interesting lagta hai because we will going to have different type of cells dedicated to execute different type of functions achhi baat hai na alag alag division of labor ho gaya skin cells are entirely different from the kidney cells kidney cells are entirely different from the heart heart cells are entirely different from the brain they can execute their own functions but this leads to the compartmentalization this leads to another thing if you put a skin cell into the lungs it will be dead the lung cells will not going to accommodate the skin cells they are not designed for that thing that is the problem related to the differentiation similar cells love to live and stay with the similar sort of cells tissues ka concept suno na ek jaise cells milke rehte hain so if that exactly happened in the in the metastasis g kashif so so that's a very important thing sir ji ji sir 
स्टेम सेल्स कहीं पे भी सरवाइव कर लेते हैं उनको नहीं कुछ कहता कोई उनको कोई कुछ नहीं कहता स्टेम सेल्स को कोई कुछ नहीं कहता ओके जैसे उनको भी कहता है लेकिन ये अभी यहां का जवाब नहीं है इस कॉन्टेक्स में नहीं है तो डिफरेंशिएटेड सेल्स दे आर नॉट एबल डिफरेंशिएटेड सेल्स आर नॉट एबल टू लिव इन ईच अदर्स वर्ल्ड दे दे आर नॉट डिजाइन स्किन सेल्स विल ओनली अलाउ एन एपिथेलियल सेल टू लिव टुगेदर टू स्टे टुगेदर कैंसर सिचुएशन में इट एग्जैक्टली हैपन ड्यूरिंग द कैंसर स्टेज व्हेन वन सेल इज स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग डिफरेंट they are not acting like an epithelial cells so the rest of the tissue will start fighting against it the rest of the tissue will start killing that one weird cell ye tumhari shakal kaisi hai tum kaise dikhte ho tum hum mein se nahi ho you not look, look like us they started killing that weird looking cell ye nature hai ye ye is is a it's a problem related to the concept of differentiation now one macrophage will not going to survive in all these different organs at the same time it is required to be differentiated in different way so one macrophage when it is differentiated in such a way that it develop the receptors and structures like liver cell that macrophage is called as the kuffer cell the other macrophage when it develop and differentiate to grow things close to the brain similar to the brain so that they can live in the brain they are called as microglial cells the microglial cells are designed and differentiated in a way that they can live and survive within the brain they are not able to live and survive in the lungs in other parts of the body so hame macrophage function to chahiye immune function to chahiye so that is why nature has developed them differentiate them so they can accommodate different worlds at the same time i can tell you putting the skin cell into the kidney is like living you or sending you to the mars you will be dead in no time it's a new place new way of living it's like that so macrophages they they are doing lot of things the one of the thing is that they promote the repair of the damaged cells you know when there is an immune action it will result in the loss of lot of uh, tissues it result in the loss of lot of cells at that place so we need certain transcription factors which can trigger and promote the repair function when you are like you lost a certain number of cells at one place because of the infection yahan par bhi jang hui hai to bahut sare cells us jang ke andar shahid ho gaye you need to repair that thing you need more uh, blood vessels to that region to, to provide and supply extra bit of food this is called angiogenesis the 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 synthesis or the creation of new blood vessels at that place you need more food you need more more matrix you need more material which can be used to create more tissues at that place or to to damage or to repair the tissue functions so ye sab karte hain ye sab ye karte hain and also these functions are mediated by cytokines so macrophages cytokines bhi release karte hain this is the slide which can explain the things more accurately to you so the cells of the macrophages the cells of the macrophages let me hide myself as well the cells of the macrophages they arises during the the development from the cells which are responsible to produce hematopoietic stem cells remember during the development hematopoietic stem cells they came from the liver and after the birth it came from the bone marrow the different at that time there was no bone marrow so it's the job of the liver to produce hematopoietic stem cells so hematopoietic stem cells give rise to the precursor cells macrophage precursor cells when these macrophage precursor cells with the help of the blood system enters into different types of worlds into different types of tissues into brain into liver into lungs or into into spleen they will start differentiated differentiate they start the process of differentiation in different ways so when the same precursor cells landed into the brain they mature they differentiate to become what wo jab humne padha tha microglial cell when the same cell enters into the liver they start they start getting mature wo word istemal karenge mature mature kamal they started their process of differentiation in a way that they can accommodate the environment of liver and they will become kuffer cells something like that. so that is all 
in case of bone marrow for example the bone in adult situation the bone marrow produce hematopoietic stem cells and they will produce a precursor cells produce monoblasts or monocytes still they are not mature once they enter into the skin they started differentiating and converted themselves into the macrophage of the skin the macrophage present in the skin so now they are active they are now working as a macrophage present in the skin so they are designed to stay within the skin waiting for the bacteria and the other cells to come in and to fight those things okay so the cells of the macrophages they arises during the during the development from the liver and during after the birth they arise from they came into their existence from the bone marrow cells usually they are driven by a protein called monocyte colony stimulating factor this is a marker this a ye pehchan hai monocytes ki the mono it is driven by those proteins which convert them push them to become a macrophage i can tell you i i have explained you earlier as well that every cell is capable of becoming every other cell nature mein uske paas contains all the genes so the monocyte colony stimulating factor is the one thing which can push the cells to transform themselves into the macrophages in humans they are uh, also characterized the monocytes can be characterized with the surface expression of cd14 and lack of expression of cd16 these two are the mono uh, the, the the markers as well you should be able to decipher this line comfortably based on my earlier lecture i told you that how we will able to figure out that what type of cell that is we are dealing with if you are like researching if you are like doing work on a certain type of cell so a macrophage or a mono monocyte which is about to become a macrophage the monocyte is characterized by the surface expression of cd14 what that mean their surface contains a receptor called cd14 on the other hand they don't have enough expression of cd16 so these the the presence of cd14 on their surface the absence of cd16 indicates that these cells are now living a life of a monocyte and that will will going to be a macrophage in the future so if uh, you are unfortunately going to be a researcher in the field of uh, molecular immunology and you have planned you have decided your supervisor has given you a job to start working on the monocyte you are working on the monocyte their differentiation or are trying to work with the monocyte the first thing you should know the first thing you should get yourself expert uh, on is the is the ability to find and detect the monocytes whatever the material you are carrying in your test tube whatever the material you are carrying on your petri dish whatever the material you are carrying in your cell culture dish is actually the monocyte so how are you able to confirm that whatever the things you are carrying they are monocytes because of the presence of cd14 and because of the absence of cd16 the decrease in the expression of cd16 increase in the expression of cd14 means the cells you are carrying are the monocytes and then you can work on it and then you can do whatever the plans you are having for them okay so macrophage have distinct function functional capabilities uh, they are doing two types of activation usually i ask this question during one or another way the classical and alternative ex activation classical activation is quite simple when a macrophage involved in a immune function it will try to eat a bad thing it will release the cytokine those cytokines will going to activate the macrophage again activating macrophage means before that let's suppose the macrophage is carrying uh, one lysozyme lysosome sorry one lysosome per cell one lysosome per cell but after the activation they will start producing four or five lysosomes per cell that means their capacity of killing the bad thing is increased this is called a classical activation triggering or pushing the macrophage to perform the same function with higher capacity with more potential this is called classical activation in addition to this thing the cytokines also activate the macrophage to support the uh, tissue repair function because they needs to uh, repair that place as well they needs to uh, trigger certain cellular functions as i said 
like angiogenesis and other things to to bring more matrix to that place to fill the gap and to fill the empty places which resulted as a result of the battle between the pathogen and the immune cells okay so ye kaam kar rahe hai important hai macrophages you should know the next member uh, the next cells are eosinophils okay main isko the next session mein jo hai wo connect karke aapke sath is pe baat karta hu okay i am i am stopping